Okay, everyone. So today I'll show you deformation tool that includes bend and twist. Okay, so let's get started. So first, let's uh, um, draw a curve. And I'll use a CV curve tool. And uh, we can start from here. And I want to create a known neck width. And once you're done, just hit a return key, which is enter key on Windows. And here we go. And uh, in my last class, I showed you how to uh, generate a vase based on this curve. So basically, we'll select it. And we'll go back to modeling tab and under surfaces. And uh, we'll apply a revolve. And here's the setting. So basically, we want to revolve, revolve on Y axis. Here we go. And then with this selected, I'll go to surface and uh, reverse its direction. All right. And then I'll go to modify and convert it from NURBS to polygon. Open the option box. So we'll use the quart as the type of the faces. And uh, we'll use the general uh, tessellation method. And we put 25 on U and V, so we don't have 25 subdivision on either U side or on either U or V. And we'll apply, and here we go. Once we have um, generated this shape, so we'll go modify phrases transformation, uh, we'll go to denate as history. Okay, so here we'll go to the topic. So what if I want to bend uh, this base. I want to bend the neck of it. Uh, so here we'll go to animation tool and we'll go to deform and we'll use uh, something called nonlinear and uh, we'll use bend. So apply it. So nothing changed. Okay, but inside of it you see this uh, straight line across it. So basically we can go to input and here's the input for the bend tool. And basically, uh, here's the degree, how much you want to bend it. So let's put 90. Okay, so now I'm bending it in 90 degree, but as you can see, bend the whole thing. So what if I only want to bend this top part? So basically, minus one is the lowest part of that straight line, and one is the highest part. So basically, if you put no bound as minus one, high bound as one, basically you all bend the whole thing. But if I put low bend at zero, so basically here's the center point. So it'll just start from the center point to one, which is the highest point. Okay, so this area will be bended. So here we go. Okay, and uh, you can also change the degree. See if I do 360, or oh, maybe too much. Maybe just 200 degree, so you can have a more angle you go back to 90 all right so if you have a longer neck of this base and then you can put a 270 or 360 and then it'll generate a better shape all right so when, once you have done um, go to a menu edit delay by history and then this is a clean model all right so you know in master class I showed you um, you can seal here by go to modeling under mesh and uh, fill hole. Okay, and you can uh, select the face and uh, extrude and offset and extrude again, offset, extrude again, and and then we can um, hold on shift, hold on shift, and uh, use your let me see. And then what we'll do is we'll go to vertex and select all of the vertex and deselect the vertex on the top that we may accidentally select it. And then hold on shift and right click on your mouse and merge vertices. Okay, so now we can go back to face selection mode and double click 
and select the whole thing and go to edit mesh, extrude and we'll increase the thickness, maybe just 0.2 here's the base alright, so now let's try something new so here I still have this uh, nerve shape and we have the curve on it so let's see if I press uh, 4 key so I can see the wireframe of it. I only want to select that curve. So what you can do is you can select a whole thing and then hold on control and deselect um, the base. And then uh, let's go to control vertex. I just press the number six, the six key to display the shading mode. So now we want a longer neck for this base. Okay, maybe more, more, okay, so with this selected, and then you can go to modify, and uh, uh, convert, and nerve to polygon, here we go, so this is a new one, and uh, we can go freeze its transformation, and denate its type, denate history, and then you can go to animation and go to deform nonlinear band. So this time you can do more. You can do no bound as a zero and uh, um, cultivation you can do 270. So see? Alright, we did select a phrases transformation and uh, and generate this history. Alright, so now Let's do a new thing. Bring it wider. Alright. And then we'll select this uh, nerve object and go to modify and convert nerve to polygon. Okay, so we'll go to edit and gene by height, type gene history and then seal the bottom fill hole extrude okay so I just repeat extrude tool and then select all the vertices on the bottom and then hold on control and deselect any faces that I need accidentally selected and hold on shift and vertex merge vert vertices uh, it doesn't merge because it's too far away from each other, so I'll just increase the distance threshold. Here we go. I'll select this whole face, uh, go extrude, and change the thickness by maybe 0.6. So if I select it and generate its history, alright, so it's a clean, it's a model with a clean history. So I'll switch back to animation and we'll go to deform, uh, go to non-linear, so this time we'll try twist and under twist here, so we want to twist the whole thing so high bound as 1, low bound as minus 1 but the start angle 0, but end angle, I want to twist it in 20, uh, maybe 20, uh, 270 degree alright, so once I apply, this is the result, see, I kind of twist uh, this whole thing from the top to the bottom, I twist it in 270 degree. So with the twisted, what I um, so let's select it and go to edit and delete its history. So let's um, go to edge select mode and select all the edges on the top and deselect edges on the side and hold on hold on control and uh, deselect this edge loop, deselect that edge loop. So we we'll only have edges on the top select it and we'll delete that edge. The reason why I want to delete that edge is because later on I'm going to select all the edges on the outside so I don't want them to go across and select the edges inside. Alright, so that's why I break down the connection. Okay, so let's select all the edges on the side and uh, so just uh, select every other edges. Hold down shift and double click. Okay. So now what I'll do is uh, hit R key, R as a scale, and scale it up. 
see that so we'll create this a nice um, gap in between okay so now let's um, um, select the bottom edge loop and inner side and inner side and hold down command and then use your mouse right key and then here we'll go to vertices and select to vertices so basically it will uh, switch your selection from the edge to the vertices now I'll hold on shift and add this is center vertex so now basically we select all of the vertices on the bottom and let's use the scale tool to scale it down by scaling it down uh, you bring all of these uh, vertices on one plane and you can bring the whole thing down a little bit and then we'll go to the top so with the vertex mode, let's see if we just go to the front view of it and we press uh, 4 key so we can see um, this vertex and we'll just grab a selection make sure you only select the top okay not the second row here we go so we only select the uh, vertex on the top and use the skill tool uh, bring them to the same level and we can move it up a little bit okay so now switch back to object mode okay so now let's uh, press 3 key to preview the smooth move nice and go back so we'll go to face selection mode and delete this whole face and then we'll go to edge selection mode and select all the edges on the top and then we'll hold on control and deselect the edges on the side so uh, first edge loop and the inner edge loop are remain selected and then we'll go to tool menu edit mesh and we'll apply a command called bridge but let's go to option box so by default uh, it should be linear path and division should be 1 but see division is basically the subdivisions of your bridge so let's see if I put 6 and apply see we have 6 subdivisions so if I just go back and I only want 1 okay here is it maybe non subdivision here apply here is it one thing I have done is press 3 key again so this is how it looks and bottom is too soft and top is also too soft so what I will do is I will uh, in object mode hold on shift and use your mouse right key and go insert edge loop and we'll insert one here another inside and one top close to the inner side one top close to the outside so that's for the top and same thing for bottom alright once you have done hit QK to quit the tool and press 3 number 3 and you can see how it looks so now I, I locked the top and I locked the bottom looks nice right and uh, you can do the same thing to lock the inner side as well so hold on shift insert edge loop tool okay once you have done once you have done hit 2k and go to object mode and 3k right so it looks better okay so basically uh, today I showed you how to use animation tab and deformation tool which is nonlinear we have used a bend to bend the neck of the waist and then we use a uh, twist uh, to create this base beautiful wave effect alright so I hope you like this video